All right, uh, just try to catch everybody up. I filmed some welding today. I don't know, it's kind of boring, but I'm just trying to do a full build on this all the way through so everybody knows exactly what's happening. Y'all saw the video where we got to post in and then I tack the holders on. I just tack them on the front side till we get all the pipe through which I think was in that other video. And then I come back and I just use a hammer and I true them up till the bearings are both rubbing on both sides and I know they're square. And then I go ahead and weld them in place. And that's what I was doing today, welding all them in place and making all the welds between the linear sections of pipe so that hopefully at the end of the day, everything, everything rolls. Uh, we came out pretty good on this one. It's not perfect at the end down there. When we get down there, I'll show you. Uh, we measured the pipe with a regular tape measure and then we roly wheeled it off. Somehow we came up about three foot difference. Now I don't know why that is, but we measured it with a roly wheel and maybe going across the terrain up and down or whatever. It came out longer, which seems reasonable. Or maybe it slipped some on the grass as we were rolling. I don't know, but anyways, we came out. The last post was three foot longer than we'd planned on. And uh, so we kind of had to splice in a three foot section, spur of the moment. And you saw that in that other video. I didn't really have time to set it up on something flat and clamp it with some angle iron and get it tuned in <clears throat> and of course anytime you add a little short piece like that with it being that short boy if it's off just any at all it's 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 really bad but fortunately i got all that welded up today tomorrow i'll try to video some of it these are the pieces that mount to the panels they got a hole in each side right here which I sandwich a section of panels through with a bolt. And uh, I just torch out a section in the middle here to uh, fit the pipe. So it sits on there and it gives me a good surface to weld to. So, cause that's what's really holding the panels to the cross brace. And uh, it's just how we did it over there. And the only way, I that I know how to do it. Initially on my first one, I, I just drew it up like this in this setup and then I get that one tacked in and then I'll rotate them around until they're sitting on top. And then I have a spacer that's cut exactly. And I mean like down to the thousandths of an inch that once you weld the first one on, it sets on there slides up to the first one and the second one goes right up against it and i got two 90 degree magnets welding magnets that i'll slide up to hold it so i can true it up and then i'll put the level on it and level it out so that it's level with the other one then attack it then i lift this out and then attack the other side so it doesn't move and then i just weld it in it worked out really good on that one. There was two or three of them down through there were pretty tight. I had to use the old meat hammer to get them in there a little bit. And there was a couple of them that fell in a little loose. But overall, they, they all just fit exactly. But it all comes down to the measurement on this. And I literally laid this up against one of the panels and I took my angle grinder and I just kept bringing the end in until I was brushing it and the panel at the same time. <clears throat> and I'm sure a man could make a jig a little better than that. That would work a little better, be a little easier, but it seems to work out pretty good. And then all you have to do is come back and you set the panel in there, drill two holes in it and slam your bolts through there. Then when you drop the second panel in down here, you drill through everything, slam the bolts in, and it just sandwiches them all in there. And uh, you can't pull them out. 
Um, you got four quarter inch bolts holding each panel. And I think if you look at the clamps and the tie downs, you effectively got four quarter inch bolts holding everything there too. So I think it's comparable. If it's not, when we have the first heavy winds, we'll find out, you know? And so we'll just walk down through here and take a little look, see at everything. Everything worked out good. Um, the end down there took me about two hours longer than I'd hoped it would. So unfortunately today, <clears throat> I didn't get to get the panel mounts on there. A little luck tomorrow, I'll be able to get the panel mounts on there. And then we'll start moving those panels that are just leaned up. Yeah, the other one's coming back to center. It says it's done for the day. I'll be honest, I'm really excited about seeing four or five of these things all rotating together. I think it's gonna be really cool if everything works out right. With a little luck, by the end of the week, we'll have this one rotating and doing the same thing that one's doing. And this one is a little bit longer. I think I can get an extra five or six panels on the end of this one. So uh, I may be able to save putting up a whole run just by the extra little bits I can get on the ends of these. And uh, I may come back and add two or three feet to the end right here and put one more panel on this end too. And if I do that, I think I can completely eliminate one whole new one. And that'd save a lot of money. She's about done, ain't she? And there she is. She's flat for the night. All right. I had to add on to these posts because after we drove them in, they turned out to be a little short. <laughs> this one was four and a half inches short. A lot, most of the ones down there I had to cut off. I just used the cut off pieces from down there to weld on up here. I thought maybe the next time I may just drive them in and leave them sticking six inches out of the ground and then pull a string and then I could perfectly level the top pieces and cut them to length prior to. Should save material. Just be more welding. Uh, that was the first joint on that one. And, uh, had to add six inches to that one. And there's the second joint. And this one I think was four and a half inches too. And that was all the ones we had to add to. The rest of them we had to cut off. If you notice, as we're walking down through here, it was above my head down there. And now it's below my head. It's a lot easier to work on down here. And this one was just cut off and we're getting down to shoulder height now. And the same thing, this one was a saw off. <laughs> we're about down to elbow height now. And that one was a cut off. <clears throat> And everything was good down through here. <sighs> so we got right to here. You see that post had to cut it. That one was only driven into there. We were short, we decided to add a post. <clears throat> Cause this one's a little bit longer than the other one. It turned out not to be quite in line with the other posts, so I had to cut it, tilt it a little bit, re-weld it, then I re-tilted the top back the other way. It was a, a lot of cutting and tilting and sledgehammering. And then the same thing where we had to add this little three foot piece of pipe. That was very difficult to get that little piece perfectly straight. It was very difficult. 
but if you if you look down through here you can see she's pretty straight and then that was the the last one and i just put a little handle on here it makes it a little easier to turn <laughs> you know so <clears throat> um Hopefully tomorrow I can get all the panel mounts on there. And then we're just going to start transferring these panels from this uh, cable setup, which didn't work out quite like I hoped it would. It, it worked out a little bit. Um, the plan was to have the cable closest to us fixed, not moving. And then the taller one use a winch and slack it off during the morning and it would let the panels tilt east and then tighten it up as the day went on to get them to point west it works um and it may work a lot better if i had an equal amount of panels on the other side to help balance the load but what happens is because of the sag they try to bunch in on each other as opposed to letting down smoothly i guess if you had a couple more posts in there you could probably get that to work and i thought that would be a pretty easy quick and fast way to get them to function and you can see like where this panel if you come down here you can see where it's kind of crawled up on the other panel up at the top and the same thing happens on the end down there. Now, if you had a post in the middle of that, that would probably solve that. And like I said, if I had panels on the other side, that would probably solve that too. And uh, then you can just tighten and slack the winch and it rotates the panels around a single axis. It's a, uh, I'd have to lower this one down quite a bit the whole process, they would end up being a lot farther off the ground than I wanted them. And uh, honestly, it's just a little sketchy when you're tightening up a three quarter inch cable with a 12,000 pound winch. And you see a six by six bow when it's got a kicker on it. <laughs> it, was, uh, it was pretty exciting. Me and Wes kind of hid behind the truck a little bit while we did that the first time. And actually the winch exploded on the first one and this was before I was filming. The winch literally exploded and the reel flew about 25 feet in the air and all these panels on the high cable just came down and smacked the ground and it actually broke two of them. Um, you can walk down here and you can see this one. They still work, but you can see the it's all caved in. And I may try to put some wood slats behind it in the back to level it back out and maybe salvage it a little. And there's one on the end down here uh, in this next run, I think. Yeah, it's not that one. We had a little rock hit one of them. And... Uh, it took it out too. I don't think we posted a video on that, but I've had rocks hit them before, but when we were mowing, I guess a rock hit this one about right there. You can feel the little divot. You can see all the cracks in the glass and it shorted out at the bottom down there. And it got hot enough it melted aluminum and glass, but <laughs> panel still works. Uh, this string still puts out plenty of power comparable to the other one. I think in full sun, this string is only uh, two tenths of an amp off <laughs> of the other one. So we lost two tenths of an amp because of all that. I don't know, it's pretty neat. But I guess that's it, we're gonna wrap it up. I'm gonna go in and get something to eat. I'll try to film some of the welding tomorrow in case y'all want to watch. I'm just going to try to do the whole thing so everybody can see. 
because I think it's a pretty good price for the amount of KWs you can get on it and get, you know, single axis tracking. I really don't think there's anything out there that's comparable in price for what you get. And I can tell you that that one, one run with three strings on it, that's kicking about 45% of the power that I'm using right now. Just that one. I can't wait to get them all up because it's going to be awesome. But that's it. Y'all have a good evening.